in today's episode of Homestead How, we finally get hit with a winter wonderland here on the homestead in Wisconsin. And we have a special project from our good Amish friends. Actually, two special projects they ask us for our help with. And we test out some innovative homestead tools. This battery-powered snowblower from a company called Lithely. And we're going to put it to the ultimate test because we get hit with a huge, huge snowstorm. We also have a really fun day at the movie theater, a huge school group coming in. Jen and I have to give a history lesson to these students. And it made me think of kind of a dumb question. I asked my Amish friend, are you really telling me you've never seen a movie? I know he hasn't, but I just can't imagine never seeing a movie. All that and more in today's episode. He's got a quarter stuck to his hand. Apparently that greatly increases the number of tips because he's like, hey, So it took until halfway through December to get some decent snow in central Wisconsin. Normally it's a lot earlier than that, but it sure did come down hard, heavy, and wet. All of our trees are drooping over and hanging, but it looks pretty nice. And I was able to get out with the drone and spend some time and get some pretty cool drone shots of the property. Haven't had much time to do that lately because the family and I have been busy with the movie theater more on that in today's video but I was able to capture some pretty cool shots these are all done with the drone buzzing through the trees you can see everything's hanging over so we're gonna have to get the chainsaw out because it's hard to even get down the driveway at this point everything's hanging over into the way but I've never had snow this heavy before. This is crazy. Peace. Look how heavy that snow is. It's tearing all the trees up. Look at my snow pile down there. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Kukunk. Here at Homestead How, we're always looking at innovative technology and tools for the homestead and battery powered technology like chainsaws and tools have come a long way. This is a snow shovel, it's battery powered and it's from Lithely. And they sent us this and they sent us a snow blower to test out. You might be asking why battery powered? Everything is going battery powered. If you look at chainsaws, a lot of them are switching over to battery powered because the technology has come so far it's just superior. You can use a battery powered chainsaw, you push a button, it fires up right away, it has more torque and power than a gas powered one, and it's easier to use, it's less expensive to use because gas is so expensive, but also those gas carburetors on chainsaws, especially for a homeowner that only uses it infrequently, the carburetor will end up gumming up and you'll go to start it and the car will be all gummed up and it won't start. With this, you just push a button and it starts right away. All right, we're outside. We got some snow on the ground. We have a winter snow advisory. The girls are all excited. They just got called that they have a two hour delay for tomorrow. Might end up getting extended more. That's right here. You see how far that was shooting? That's impressive. Okay, I know, it's just a little bit of snow, but this is heavy, wet snow. It's actually been raining out all day. This is extremely heavy, thick. You see, it's shooting like 
40 feet that way. Slicing up some bacon on the homestead. Look at this. Huge chunk of bacon. This is from our really good Amish friends. They asked if we could help slice it up, and in return we get to keep some. This bacon smells amazing. I can't wait to eat some of it. It's way more than I thought though. It's so big, it doesn't fit on the slicer, but I was able to roll it over, and that way you can cut it. But I think the pieces are a little too long, so I'm probably gonna cut it down the middle anyway. So we'll see. I've been uh, experimenting, so I think this one was a little thin, so I just made this setting a little bit thicker. I feel like a butcher. We're like uh, two hours into it. We got all of the turkey cut up. Wait, got, the what? I gotta go to sleep. We got all of the bacon cut up. I'm a real good butcher. We got all the bacon cut up. I'm a vegetarian. And I know this is ham, turkey. and this is all ham. And I still have to kind of butcher this and cut it down into smaller pieces. And here's what we got going on right here. Watch this piece. This is some good looking pieces right here. I'm cutting them at a quarter inch thick. Look at those. Looks delicious, so. We're gonna take just a few pieces of this. They said take as much as you want, but frankly, they've worked so hard for this and need it more than we do. If you're new to Homestead How, you may not know that we're good friends with an Amish family nearby. I've known them for a couple years now and I've done several videos with them. Um, not showing their face, they don't like to be photographed, but they've agreed to let me film with them. I went on their tree cutting crew and we cut down this huge tree. We also went ice harvesting, which was very interesting. I did a whole video on that. We gathered a whole bunch of ice from a pond and that's how they refrigerate their food year round off grid. And then more recently, they taught me how to ride an Amish horse and buggy and that was a ton of fun. Okay, Mike, loosen up a little bit. Here we go. Oh. Yep. Okay. Where are you going, Kiri? Yeah, <laughs> I've learned so much from the Amish. One really dumb question I asked them that I knew the answer to, but I just can't wrap my brain around was, you've never seen a movie or a TV show or anything? And the answer, of course, was no. However, they're very interested in our movie theater building that dates back to 1859. Before Lincoln was president, when the building started, it was very similar to how the Amish operate now. Uh, it's wood-fired gas lanterns, no electricity. So they're gonna come over and check out the movie theater, but not necessarily a movie. There is an incredible amount. Let's kind of break the box of meat here. Nice, some ham steaks that I cut up, and then a whole bunch of bacon, and it just smells like nice, smoky bacon in here. These ones we cut a little thinner, the bacon was like this long, so some of them I cut in half. It's not that bad cleaning it, it's just incredibly dangerous cleaning this part. You're supposed to wear special gloves because just touching that will cut you up. That is pretty impressive. This is really hard snow. Look how tall it is. It might be hard to see on camera. The snow is about this high and it is just soaking wet snow. So over the course of the week, we really put these lithely snow blowers and snow shovel to the test. Uh, this was some heavy, thick snow. We used it at both the homestead and the movie theater, frankly out of necessity, otherwise I'd have been using a shovel. So uh, very happy with these, big thumbs up, and we'll see how they go over time, but the battery power has been really good. I used one at home and then twice at the movie theater, and the batteries were still good. So, uh, so far I like these. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want more info. See our posters came in? Yeah, they look great. What's all this? Stuff for today. Today is Friday. You want to look into his eyes again, Jen? Nope. Look into his eyes and nope. say good morning. Say 
He's waving to you, Jay. I'm not following him. Hi. Hi. What are we doing? We have a huge school group coming in this morning. They're going to watch Polar Express, and we've got to make up how many? I don't remember. 80. 80 bags of popcorn, 80 drinks. They're going with these Capri Suns. And we got to box them all up. So we got the big rug. Hopefully this will protect our new carpet from the popcorn butter, the evil popcorn butter. We bought this on Amazon because it was, what is it, 10 feet I think? Wait, I don't know if this door can close now. Can you watch this a little? It's weird, it's gonna be a good beverage. Why are we looking at that? That thing is so cool. What well, we got here? So I ordered posters, but honestly, I have no idea what I have in here because we have the Puss in Boots one up there. This is next to the next attraction. And then we have two other ones that are here. So honestly, I have no idea what they sent me. Maybe we got extra Puss in Boots ones. Yeah, because you had a problem ordering it. I was about to print it out at home again. Oh, nope. please don't be Puss in nope. Boots again. It's not purple. Well, it might be his hair. I don't know. It is. <laughs> Well, I told you, say you're sorry. Just roll it back up because you know how hard it is. I ordered them and he was yelling at me that we don't have them, so I had to order them again. So they, they, they came three weeks late, like, well now at least we'll have them for Sunday, we can put these outside. And then the next movie after this is, I think it's A Man Called Otto with Tom Hanks. I would still like an apology. Cause do I we have A Man Called Otto with Tom yes, Hanks? Yes, we do. You're sure? Yes. You're I positive? Yes. Isn't this so cool? The really cool thing I like about this, they always say a picture's worth a thousand words. I saw this picture and my mind just blew up. So many things. First of all, these doors are the same doors that we have right there. Show it, Jen. Just go right through there and show okay. it. You can see the little right. half arch. Am I going to go through Those here? doors are from the 1950s that are in that picture. Yeah. That was the first thing I noticed, number one. Number two, the doors are indented. We talk about this on the history tour, but you see this little indent right here, Jen, in here? That was these doors. These used to be indented, we're kind of backwards now, and this box office jutted out. And you'd go up to the box office, which is so cool, and then you had these two arches going on the side. These poster boards are both still there. The other thing I noticed that was so cool, the side walls didn't have the stucco on them. Um, the other thing that is just really cool, I don't know why I just geek out on this, these letters, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Hans Christian Andersen, Danny Kaye, that was the movie that was playing then. Those are the exact same letters that I use every single Sunday in front of the marquee. Those are the same letters we have now. Same font, same size, same everything. This part changed. They built an overhang, but those are the exact same letters from 1950. Isn't that amazing, Jen? That's really cool. Jen and I just finished cleaning up. We had a really fun school group, lots of good questions. That was fun, right, Jen? That was, they were so cute. Jen did a tour, we split them up 50, 50. Gave them a tour up here, starting in this area, talking about the history and the popcorn machine, lots of cool history in here. Then we went into the theater, and then went downstairs and we divvied it up. Now we're heading home, and we have to come back for another movie at seven. Doors open at six, we gotta be here at 5.30. Nobody's coming tonight. You think it might actually happen? It is really bad out. We had trouble getting here in our own truck. We were slipping and sliding. We had the plow. I had to put the plow down once to break because we were sliding down a hill. Was that fun? Saved our lives, right, Jen? I liked it. It was fun. And I got to plow the road a little bit for them, too, at the same time. I think somebody's here. Is somebody here? Jen, somebody's here. Jen, somebody's here. Alyssa, somebody's here. Get to your station. E.T., somebody's here. Do something. Do something. So despite the bad weather outside, we actually had a really nice turnout again. Didn't get skunked. 
didn't get just one customer like I predicted. It's quarter two. Melissa's made her first mistake in weeks. Ran out of popcorn. My Amish friend is an excellent woodworker and he gave me these mirrors and asked for a favor if we could use our engraving machine, our X tool, to write some names in for him. I said sure, no problem, and I didn't realize what I was getting into because we've done this before but not on a mirror, so let's see how this turns out. did it. You gotta try it. That's really nice. Wow. First try. Okay, I was gonna do the second try. How is it the second try? <laughs> I don't talk about it. You see my mistake on the back? Show the back ones. Yeah, but you're never gonna see that. I know, but I was scared. It, if, you, if you rub it, it might come off. So don't rub it. I'm not touching it. Look at it. Isn't it good? That is beautiful. I got nice really lucky. Straight. I was so scared because I've never done this before. I started doing it with the mirror up and then I quickly Googled it and it said, don't ever aim in the laser at the mirror because it'll reflect back into itself. That makes sense. So we have to take these to our Amish friend's house. And Jen, this kind of makes me want to do more. Do you want to do more? Yes, I have some. You can actually do it. We grew these little peppers. They started in here, and then they went into our big hydroponics thing in the other room. Here's what they look like now. Oh, these are going to be spicy. Saturday night, we had our free movie at the theater. Unfortunately, the weather was horrible. If we didn't have a four-wheel drive truck, I wouldn't have been comfortable going to the theater. We still had an okay turnout considering the weather, and then we jump right into Sunday with E.T. E.T. The girls went to Quick Trip. Yeah, Quick Trip. It's right there. They went to get some... They went to get some ice. Just chill. You can stand here and wait for them. Those people are looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm talking to a... Yeah, they're a Quick Trip. Why? Stop pointing at it. Jen? What? He's freaking me out. I've been telling you that. He keeps pointing at things. I came in and he was pointing at the heat. I went and turned the heat on and I came back and his hand was down like that. And then he was pointing over there like this. Oh, oh no. He was pointing over here like this. I came up from outside and he was pointing at that. Was he floating like that too? No, I went over and looked and there was no ice. So I'm like, oh, we need ice. And then he was pointing like this. I came back from getting the ice. He was pointing like that. Pointing right at the nacho machine. I forgot to turn the nacho machine on and put the cheese in it. So now we're all set. He is helpful. Thank you. So all he does is point at stuff. He doesn't say much. Look at those eyes, Jen. Just nope. look into nope. the eyes. Look at it when you hold him like this. <laughs> Don't. He said he doesn't like it when you hold him like that. You gotta hold him by his belly. Look, just look. Look. Nope. Look in his eyes. Come closer. Give him a hug. Come on, he told you all those things that you forgot. <laughs> Give him a hug. Nope. Give him a hug. Uh -oh. You know I got blue eyes, Look at his right? belly, looks just like my belly too. You know I got blue eyes, right? Do you like his belly? <laughs> Does it remind you of mine? My feet kind of look like that too, they're kind of short and stubby. I'm gonna try to scare Alyssa so when she comes back. You guys get ice? That's how you love pickles. E.T. Oh, that's so gross. E.T.'s, we had to let him go. Where? What are you doing? <laughs> I can't open it. Yeah, it's asking about the salt. I said that you didn't put the salt in. Yes, We're going to just keep him there so you can keep an eye on you when you make popcorn too. No, keep the tips in the We had an okay turnout on Sunday and it was so cold out. Jen and I swapped the posters out. It's too cold for me to film the changing of the sign that I do every Sunday, but we had all of our posters in order this week. And the next movie coming up is Puss in Boots, rated PG. And we have a special showing on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 7 p.m. Closed for Christmas and Christmas Eve. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave a comment. Please share. Please tell a friend. We really appreciate it.